Good afternoon, Barrington High School. I'm Ravi Karana. And I'm Kara Merrick. And we'd like to welcome you to another episode of BHS TV. To start off this week's episode, let's head on over to BHS's very own Mr. Zurich and a segment about his class. Let's check it out. So we're here with Mr. Zurich. Now, Mr. Zurich, how long have you been a teacher here? Uh, this is my fifth year. All right. And what classes do you teach? Uh, I teach Project Lead the Way, so all the engineering classes currently. It's uh, Principles of Engineering and then Digital Electronics. What class would you take besides your own if you were a student here right now? Uh, if I was a student here, uh, BHS TV. <laughs> now, if rocks are so hard, then why does paper beat rock in rock paper scissors? It, it makes a blanket and it, it encompasses the rock so that the rock can't bring out any other defense. Um, you never know what the rock's doing, so you know, put a blanket over it, to cover it, you can't see it, scared of the dark. Um, yeah, it definitely beats it. All right, that makes sense. Why did you decide to be a teacher? Uh, because it came naturally to me. Uh, I felt like uh, you know I, I have a good way of explaining things, uh, but not just you know telling them how to do it, but but giving them the tools and, and letting them do it themselves. If you were a tomato, what would your rapper name be? Uh, let's go with uh, Master Marineras. All right. I like, that's original. <laughs> and lastly, what teacher do you think should be our next victim? I mean, interviewee. Let's go with uh, Mr. Ardente. Mr. Ar Mr. Ardente. All right. Sounds good. Thanks so much for your time. Oh, no we really appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, that was pretty cool. Hey, Robbie, have you met our new district superintendent? Not yet. Well, let's check out a segment all about him. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Brian Harris, the new superintendent of schools for Barrington 220. We're here this afternoon at Barrington High School and I'm gonna be walking around introducing myself in a very unique way. Did you hear over the summertime that we have a new superintendent of schools in District 220? Yeah, I, that's what I heard. You knew that? I didn't. You did I, not know that? No, I noticed the change though. Oh yeah, how'd you notice that? Uh, there's a new lunch line. What's, what does the superintendent do? Um, the superintendent kind of, he's kind of like in charge of like the whole, you know, like the district. Snow days? I don't know. Did you know Dr. Leonard by any chance? Yes, I did. Yeah, well tell me a little bit about Dr. Leonard. Uh, what did you know about him? He was bald. I remember he was like bald or something. <laughs> That's right. Didn't have much hair, did he? Yeah. You know, that job will do that to you sometimes. Have you heard about the new guy? Um, no. Is the new superintendent bald? Maybe. You're not sure? No, do you know his name? Uh, don't remember. No, you haven't, huh? No, sir. No idea? Who? Do you know his name? No. Don't know his name? I think I've seen it on the website, but I haven't like heard much about it. Do you think you'd recognize the new superintendent if you saw a photo of him? Yeah. You would? Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen him. All right, very good. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, Maybe my friend Candy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe? Do you think you could identify him if I showed you a picture? Yeah. Do you happen to recognize this person? Do you recognize him? No. No? Uh, is that the new superintendent? That is correct. You, you don't have any idea who that is? No. No? Is this the person? Mm -hmm. Who is that? Do you know? Uh, Look closely. Oh my god. Oh my god. You are correct. I'm Dr. Harris. I'm the new superintendent. Oh yes. my god. <laughs> Very good. Oh. Yeah, who is that? You. <laughs> Congratulations. No. Do you have any idea? No. Oh, what's that? That's you. Might look a little closer. Oh, is it you? Oh, <laughs> congratulations. Do you think that's the person? Oh, yeah. Who is that? Do you know? <laughs> Do you have any idea who it is? Yeah, maybe. Who? Yeah. Is that you? Yeah, you got it. You win the prize. Congratulations. Well, as you just saw, we had some fun here this afternoon at Barrington High School interviewing some of our students about their new superintendent, myself, Dr. Harris. Wow, he seems like a really awesome guy. He seems great. Now over to Anusha and Gus with some news. Welcome to BHS Newsroom with Anusha Panchel and Gus Getze. Good afternoon, Barrington High School. It's Friday, October 10th, and it's time to get you in the... No. No, no. Oh. The Cat's Meow had a successful opener last night and will continue with their production tonight and tomorrow at 7 p.m. as well as 2 p.m. Welcome!
Hollywood, a land just off the coast of planet Earth. This yacht belongs to William Randolph Hearst. It is November 1924. Thirteen passengers walked on board. One of us was carried off horizontally two days later. Little evidence exists to support any version of the weekend's events. History has been written in whispers. This is the whisper I hear in my dreams. Chaplin! You know, here it's a great show, especially Cameron Holzman and Tommy Durkin and their excellent display. You know what else is great? What? Life. <laughs> you still sign up for the Young Hearts for Life Free Heart Street because a healthy heart is a healthy life. Barrington's Crop Walk for Hunger is next Sunday. Sign up with Miss Bauer and help raise money for this awesome event. Code Red will be doing a Halloween costume drive, so if you donate from now or until the 17th in the calf, you'll be able to hobgoblin a friend and give them a nice Halloween goodie bag. Well, that's it from us in the newsroom. I'm Gus. And I'm Anusha. Back to you in the studio. Now let's take it over to RJ Sachdev with this week's segment of Sports Desk. Hello everyone, welcome to Sports Desk. I'm RJ Sachdev, back again this week after being gone last episode. Thank you, Jack Coombs. This week, we're going to do something called VHS by the numbers. It's a little bit different. Here's how it works. I give you a number that is in some way significant to Barrington Athletics, and all you got to do is smile and nod. Make sense? Good. Let's get started. First number, 47. As of Thursday morning, that's the total number of goals scored by the Broncos soccer team this season. And now the next number kind of goes along with that, number 9, which is the number of goals by Barrington top scorer Austin Grisbiniak. Next number, 24. That's the total number of miles that Girls Cross Country has run during just meets and invites this year. Just meets and invites. If you add up all the miles that they run in practice every day, the number becomes painfully high, so we'll just stick with 24, which is extremely impressive in and of itself. 41 is next in line. That's the total number of points the Broncos football team has given up the entire season. They've scored less than that in only two out of their six games. The Broncos' average points per game, 42.8. Goodness. Now, these next numbers are gonna blow you away. They come in a pair, 13 and 76. The Palatine Boys Cross Country Team has not lost a dual meet in 13 years. That's 76 straight wins in dual meets. Now, those numbers were accurate until earlier in this season when the Barrington Boys Cross Country Team pulled off the absolutely stunning upset. Major props to them for doing that, and also check out Ben Lanning's beautiful finish. Um, ben was the hero of this meet as he passed three people, I think it was, in the final 100 meters, so shout out to you, Ben. That's all we have for this sports desk. I'm RJ Sastev. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. So, Ravi, did you take the ACT yet? Indeed I did. I actually took it a few times. See, the thing is, you can keep taking the test until you get a score you're happy with. Now let's take it over to Jack Coombs with more information about this year's ACTs. Hey, Coombs, how'd you do in that test earlier? <laughs> Rocked it. Atta boy. <laughs> See you later. What's up, Burnson High School? I'm Jack Coombs. If you're an upperclassman this year, then you've got some very important tests coming up. That's right, you got your ACTs and your SATs. In 2013, a total of 1.8 million students took the ACT and 1.6 million took the SAT. But what is the reason for having two tests? To learn more, I got to talk to Sarah English, head of college guidance at BHS. There are different types of testing. ACT is more of an achievement type test, so it's kind of measuring your really direct use of algebra or math, grammar, those type of things. Also includes a science section. The SAT is more about your logical thinking and preparing you um, and how you're learning. All colleges, I would say, accept both of those tests, but they don't really have a preference. And how should they be preparing for each specific test? So I know we offer ACT prep classes here through the school that they can take. They certainly can check out materials in the GRC for practice tests, look online. Um, there's also private agencies that also do some test prep as well. It is to my knowledge that the SAT test is changing. Can you describe those changes and how they're really going to affect the uh, student population? The new SAT will be um, out on March of 2016. They talked about how there will be no longer a penalty for guessing and having the wrong answer on the multiple choice section. In addition, they talked about the obscure vocabulary that's currently on the SAT will not be on the SAT. It will be more based off of contextual 
um, inferences off of the passages they're reading. How many times should they be taking it before they settle on that score and send it off to schools? AACT has proven that students who take the score twice, 57% of those students that second time score higher. So I think there is benefits in taking it two to three times, but after that second, third time, there really isn't a lot of research showing that your scores tend to jump up. So if you've got some tests coming up, make sure you hit the books and study hard. If you haven't signed up yet, get going on that. Because the sooner we do that, the sooner we can... Wait, wait, one sec. Hey, RJ? Yeah? Did you take the ACT or the SAT? Both. Wow. Wow. What a guy. <laughs> anyway, for BHS TV, I'm Jack Coombs. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Jack. All juniors, make sure to sign up for the upcoming ACT so you don't fall too far behind. Ah, oh, put the food away. You're making me hungry. Well, let's take it over to Alex Gall with this week's segment of Good Eats with, with Gall. Gall. Hey, Barrington. We're still on a mission to go around town and find some of Barrington's favorite local eateries. This time, we're going to grab some coffee at Cook Street Coffee. It's another Good Eats with Gall. <laughs> Conscious Cup, my company, has been around um, for a while now, uh, since about 2007. Uh, we opened up our first cafe in Crystal Lake, and then we purchased the cafe in December of 2013. And so we've been uh, sole owners since then. So do you guys like coming here after school? Yeah, I think we come here most days to hang out with friends. Cook Street Fridays is kind of a thing, so. I feel like every time you walk in here, you know a lot of people. For, for me, I think there's three things that really impact the business, um, and that's atmosphere, product quality, and service quality. They're more personable. They kind of know you better and recognize you when you walk in. And so uh, we roast all of our coffee in our cafe in Crystal Lake, uh, so everything is very fresh. We source seasonal, high-grade coffees from all over the world. Um, and we bring them in uh, on a monthly basis to the cafe. And I think the big difference between us and between a lot of our corporate competition is, is that you're going to get more of a community feel. You're going to get a better quality product because we have the time and the energy to focus on that product. Um, and you're going to get a warmer and more inviting atmosphere. Oh, that's money. That's really good. We had a great time checking out Cook Street Coffee here on the corner of Cook and Station. For Good Eats with Gall, I'm Alex Gall. Back to you guys in the studio. Oh, that's money. Just stop. Well, let's take it over to George Baldassano with this new segment called Curious George. Hello Barrington, my name's George Baldassano and today I'm feeling a little curious. So guys, in 20 seconds or less, can you name 10 clubs at the high school? Go Beyond Barrington, Packed, Code Red. Uh, art Club, Ping Pong Club, and Drama Club. Chess Club, Best Buddies. Can you guys name at least five other teams in the MSL besides Barrington? No. Can you guys name any teachers at the high school that attended Barrington High School? I don't know. So guys, when did Barrington High School open its doors to students? I don't know, like 1940s something? Do you have a guess? 1922. The correct answer is 1949. Are you guys going to Schaumburg for the away football game for homecoming? Probably, yeah. It's not away, it's home. That is correct. Oh. It is at home. Thanks for participating, guys. Wow, I feel curious now. Alrighty then. Well, that's it for this week's episode of BHS TV. I'm Robbie Carano. And I'm Carrie Merrick. Have, Have a nice, nice weekend, weekend Barrington. Barrington.